the fascination for Takemitsu's music has, has been a long one in my life. Uh, my mentor Oliver Nassim was a huge, uh, imp uh, famous interpreter of his music and introduced me to the to the style and to the vision of this composer. Um, and then there are these these works, these concertante works for uh, orchestra with guitar and with violin and with oboe d'amore. That's uh, basically one of them leaded that really has hasn't really properly been recorded at all, and the other one has never been combined uh, in this fashion. It sounds so terrific with, with this orchestra. The orchestra is both able to really uh, create this very uh, deep and, and rich uh, sort of string sound that this uh, music needs at parts, but it also is, they are also able to really make this music transparent at parts, which is very, very important for, for, for this music. It has to have this transparency to hear this very lush instrumentation that Takemitsu is famous for. It's the first concerto I'm playing with guitar and orchestra and it gives a beautiful mixture of textures and uh, also with quite a magical and imaginative orchestration. I think it's a beautiful kind of a landscape of colors that Takemitsu wrote. The music is almost like a warm bath of sound. It has so much of best of so many worlds in a way. It has the best of French, it has this exquisite orchestration details. It's gorgeous sound. I mean, Takemitsu also loved this kind of C and B movies. So you also have this kind of almost cash casualty to like the sound and to the phrasing. He loved jazz. So it's, it's both extremely refined, at the same time kind of easy. It's really interesting what he does there with Obo Damore and guitar. It's, it's what a combination. He goes to the complete limits of the possibility on the instrument, so the highest possible and loudest possible and the softest and lowest possible notes. And then um, he writes some double flageolets for special color and texture, so that you hear two notes at the same time. But there are none of these like ugly, direct, multiphonic sounds, but it's, it's really beautiful texture in pianissimo and um, yeah, it's really special color. In every note almost, in, in all the works that we're playing, you can directly tell, even if I would only play the guitar part, you could tell that this is music by Takemitsu, so it's very specific, but at the same time, he always makes the instrument ring and sound and in a very specific way. And I think that that's the reason why He's such a brilliant composer for guitar and that's why so many guitarists all over the world have embraced his music. Even though these orchestral works have been embraced a bit less and that's one of the sort of aims with our recording to, to hope to lift these real masterpieces up a bit again. <laughs>